the green over here to the north. I can hear you. All right, roger that. Uh, roger. Standing by. Well, Dana, we can tell you this grass fire was started by the train that came through here. There's a couple of, uh, two, uh, hang on just a second, uh, Dana, Air Depot, we got, uh, Tier Tower, we got that traffic site maintained visual. And uh, it's going to be around northeast 23rd, just south of northeast 23rd, just east of Air Depot here is where this fire now is burning towards northeast 23rd. But Dana, it's in this treat area. Like I said, it was started by a train that uh, came through here. There's a couple of fires started in here. And uh, it is burning quickly to the north, but there's a lot of green grass up to the north as it comes out of these cedar trees and it runs into some heavy wooded areas. So the fire department's got a pretty good handle on it. There's no homes around this area to be threatened or anything like that. So hopefully when it hits this uh, to the north side, just green area there, the fire department will be able to get this out. But again, need people be aware, we got gusts over 40 miles an hour today. So any little spark's gonna start a fire. Jim Garpoint Live for Bob Mills. Scott News 9, back to you. Go to your right, Rich, go to your right. There you go. That's good. Oh, Roger. Yeah. Wow, that's just that just boggles my mind. Oh yeah, yeah. He was—he wasn't even worth talking about. Should be coming. Yeah, he's right at your door now. Once it gets out of them cedars and reaches that tree line, it should die right real quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's. Yeah, and there's three on the road over here on the air depot. Yeah, supervisor, I think. They had some. Yeah, he's. Yeah, his truck's right down there below us. Police officer. I don't know what police car that is down there. Hey, Ben, I think they got it, man. Hey, Ben, do you copy? I think they got this thing covered. It's out. It's not pushed any further north. All righty. Antigua Tower, there's nice park back to the antenna farm.